Hello and welcome to ESPN Trick Info Gloves Off. This is a brand new episode. I am Ronald Kapoor and once again we've picked a topic that will get everyone worked up about which side they stand on. VVS Lakshman and Steve Harmison, I'm delighted to welcome on this episode. The topic that they've picked contrary views to debate and deliberate on over the next few minutes is has Virat Kohli already won the battle against Jimmy Anderson? Should be feisty enough. If this was the main battle going into the big series. Let's see how uh, VVS and Steve defend their respective sides. Our first round is called First Blood. Right, gentlemen, our first round, we'll see both of you give your opening statement, stating your opening stand. You'll have 30 seconds, no more, and you will not interrupt one another. VVS Lakshman, you have uh, the first right to start. Off you go. Uh, the the matchup between Anderson and Virat Kohli was a talking point before the start of the series. The nemesis of Virat Kohli in 2014 was Anderson. Got him out four times in the eight innings Virat Kohli played. But in this series so far, in the five innings Virat Kohli played, not even once did Jimmy Anderson get him out. And that's why it's clear cut that Virat Kohli got an upper hand over Anderson and I'm sure that it will continue not only uh, in this series but whenever both these great players compete against each other. Brilliant. Timed to perfection as we know VVS Lakshman too. Stephen Armisen, you've taken a contrary view. You have 30 seconds. Your time starts now. Well, in my opinion, I don't think uh, Vivian uh, Bean Virat Kohli has got uh, the, the, the battle won. I think Jimmy Anderson has got 16 wickets so far in this series. England are 2-1 up in this series and the ball has dominated the bat. Virat Kohli, I'm going to admit, batted, has batted very, very well. But to say he's got the wood on Jimmy Anderson, I totally disagree. Jimmy Anderson has bowled brilliantly and everybody, everybody else. Virat Kohli has 35% attack record at Adil Rashid, 28 at Ben Stokes. And 11 at Jimmy Anderson. He showed him all respect, so no. All right. Jimmy Anderson know. has. All right, Stephen. I'm going to allow Sorry. you to go deeper into that argument when we get to get into our second round because it's time for the two of you now to start trading blows. Right. This is where the debate uh, should get uh, heated up. Steve, off you go. Yeah, just uh, to say that Jimmy Anderson, uh, Vera Cole, he's got the, uh, the wood over. Uh, Jimmy Anderson in this series. I, I think that's, that's that's too strong to say that he's dominated Jimmy Anderson. Virat Kohli's batted very, very well. Jim, uh, Jimmy, Adamson, Jimmy Anderson's got Steve, five, Steve, six Steve, what is the topic? What is the topic here? The topic series. here is who's got the upper hand. You know, and as a batsman, you would know that batsman, until and unless the bowler gets the batsman out, you cannot say that the bowler has got an upper hand over the batsman. Yes, I agree that Jimmy Anderson bowled well. Yes, I agree that he took a lot of wickets in this series so far, but he hasn't got the wicket of Virat Kohli. Only opportunity he created was when Milan dropped him at Edbeston. Well, he, Jimmy Anderson's got 16 wickets. He's been getting everybody else. He's quite yes, happy. Yes, but Virat the all Kohli important wicket. Him him but but still, the all important dominated. wicket of Virat the Kohli didn't is, get. Now, the question is, Vivian. The number of runs that Virat Kohli question. got. Let's hear the question, Vivian. Let's hear the question. What's the question, Stephen? <laughs> The, the question is, has he dominated Jimmy Anderson? He hasn't dominated Jimmy Anderson. The game plan of Jimmy any good Jimmy batsman, Anderson, got, Steve, you being a bowler, wickets. the game plan of any good batsman is to play off the good bowler from the opposition team and capitalize on and put pressure then, on the other fairness, bowler. Hold on. Virat Kohli had a clear game plan. I'm not going to get out to uh, Jimmy Anderson. I'm going to play my normal but game what, and I'll put pressure what? on the other bowlers. And that's what right, But I focus this... your attention on the topic. Has he won the battle already? Stephen, carry on. Virat Kohli batted from one end against Jimmy Anderson. And Jimmy Anderson got everybody out. That's why England are winning 2-1. But the pick is not about Jimmy Anderson and the rest but he of hasn't the Indian scored. But he hasn't scored many runs against him. He Doesn't hasn't matter, dominated. He hasn't scored many runs against him. So far. 11%, so a 11% percent of Virat okay. Kohli's The amount of deliveries is left on and outside the He showed a lot of discipline. And that's why I feel Virat Kohli has won the battle against Jimmy Anderson. Very well, gentlemen. Wow, that was feisty. <laughs> Take a breather because now I will go back to the... Can I talk this down? <laughs> it's time now to go to a new segment here on Puffs Off where we actually ask fans what they thought of the arguments presented by VBS and Steve. It's time for Time Out. Right, let's go to our first fan who's been watching this patiently and now um, let's see which way he's leaning towards. This is Divij Gala uh, joining us uh, from Mumbai and I can see he's got a picture of the Melbourne Cricket Ground behind him is what I'm told. So, which way are you leaning? Um, so, I lean towards VVS's side and I completely agree that... Yeah, and uh, 
and I completely agree that Virat Kohli has outboxed James Anderson this time. He hasn't fallen into the trap that James Anderson has been building outside the off stump completely in the in this entire series. The same trap that he fell into the series back in 2014. So you can see that uh, Virat Kohli has matured over the uh, four years that the last series from the last series, and he's oh, uh, James Anderson has bowled more than 35 overs to Virat Kohli, and Virat Kohli has still not gotten out to him. So you can see how Virat Kohli has learned to leave the balls that are coming outside the off stump mm. specifically, especially to James Anderson Very well. from James Anderson. Got and it, I Divij. think this is the All main right. reason. All right, Steve Hammerson, you've heard the opinion of young Divij Gala. What would you say to uh, to that? Yeah, I, 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 he's a different player. Virat Kohli is a different player than what he was in 2014. Jimmy Anderson's a different bowler to what he was in 2014. Thanks, Steve. But I go back to Are the question, which Steven? is it Thank dominant? You, Steve. I'm, I'm not conceding. I'm going back to the right. The, the question is dominant. Has he the dominated is Jimmy Anderson? Not dominant. The question has is he won the, the question is has dominant. He won the battle. Has he won the battle? Is the question he not hasn't dominance. won the battle? Yes. And Stephen is. Why dominant or won the battle is two two same things. At the end of the day, the score it's is not. two one. The score is two one to England. Very well, Stephen so is saying I has he it. dominated? He's not. He's not, he's not won, the battle, won the battle just yet. All right, let's move to our next fan now, and I believe we might have a contrary view. I am delighted that Foma Ramteke from Nagpur joins us. Right, Foma, interesting name. Let's see what uh, side you've picked. I I agree with Hamison that Anderson still rules Kohli. Why? Because Kohli has been dropped thrice in this series already and the first time, the, the drop by Milan, I think, I still think that uh, Anderson still rules him. Anderson still is the highest wicket taker in this series and there is a reason behind it. He is not getting support from his fielder, otherwise he's still there, he's still at the top and we can see he has been bowling consistent line and length to Kohli. It's just that he needs a support from his fielders. Okay, PBS Lakshman, how would you like to respond? Uh, first and foremost, are you a cricket nut? <laughs> if you are, then you don't know your numbers. Just when the batsman gets out, only then can you say that the bowler has put a lot of pressure on him or you know he's dominated him. But as you rightly mentioned, the, um, the line and length or the game plan of Jimmy Anderson was on and outside the off stump. And that's what Virat Kohli mastered. The discipline, the grit, the determination he showed to counter that area which was his weakness. Uh, has been brilliant. That's why because Jimmy Anderson All didn't right, take DBS. his wicket, I feel that Virat Kohli has won the battle. I'm not okay. saying he's dominated, but he's won the battle. Steve Armisen, given how uh, aggressively VBS has gone at Steve, I'm going to allow the uh, yeah. gentle giant Armisen to give one last point. Steve, anything you'd like to say in conclusion that you haven't said already? The conclusion and the winning of the battle will come at the Oval in three weeks' time. <laughs> and that, I think, will be a fantastic... I think that's going to be And that's Virat Kohli winning the Man of the Series, series award. Oh, my or God. Or the highest run-getter in this well, series. Well, for him... <laughs> if, India, if India win, he's going to have to because the reason why Jimmy Anderson is well, doing India, so India, well India, 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 all right, now gentlemen, you have just about two sentences to wrap up your argument. You've heard what your opponent wants to say, you've heard the data they've presented and the theories that they've advanced. L just two sentences to close your argument. VBS, off uh, you go. I think it's clear cut that Virat Kohli had a specific game plan against Jimmy Anderson and he executed that game plan to perfection. You know, and this will now put a lot of pressure on Jimmy Anderson going into the rest of the matches in this series because now he'll be focusing how to get Virat Kohli out and he has not done that even one. So he will give in the bargain in trying to pick up his wicket, give a lot more uh, runs and his strike rate against Jimmy Anderson will also increase All right. in the next uh, two matches. That's it VVS. Steve Armisen, your turn. Well, with Jimmy Anderson getting 16 wickets in this series so far and England winning, leading the series 2-1, Jimmy Anderson has not been dominated by Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli's played Jimmy Anderson very well. But to say he's been dominated, I'm not so sure. Jimmy Anderson is the leading wicket taker by a long way. Virat Kohli's 11% of Virat Kohli's runs are against up attacking shots against Jimmy Anderson. So for me to say Jimmy Anderson's dominated would be the wrong choice of words. I would say it's a very, very close and very, very good battle between two fantastic players. But to dominate, I don't think so. All right, all right, gentlemen. This has been a fascinating episode of ESPN Cricket for Gloves Up. No verdicts, no prizes are going to be announced just yet. 
It's for all of you to decide. Do you agree with VVS Lakshman or with Steve Armisen? Has Virat Kohli won the battle against Jimmy Anderson or no? Is this still still to be told? Leave us your answers and thoughts on our social media channels as well as in our comments. And watch this space for another episode of ESPN Trick Info Gloves Off. Did you like this episode of Gloves Off? If you like and you agree with me, leave it in the comments below. If you like this episode of Gloves Off and you agree with me, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave your comments in the comments section below. Click on the bell icon for notifications.